Letters from God and His Christ, Volume 2 Innocence Destroyed in Evil Arrogance With Slothful and Wicked Ignorance Brought by False Truths and Permitted Under Human Rights August 23, 2005 From God the Father and Jesus the Christ, Yahushua Hamashiach, our Lord and Savior. A letter given to Timothy for all those who have ears to hear. Thus says the Lord, I am God who reigns for ever and ever, maker of heaven and earth, writer of all things that are right and must be followed according to my law, which stands for ever. All answer to me. I am the righteous judge who sits high above the heavens, who also sends he who shall judge the earth and pass judgment, even that which I had decreed from the beginning. For all life was brought forth by my hand, created by the word of my power, even man. And that which I created for him, I also placed under him, granting him dominion. Thus says the Lord to the sons and daughters of men, You were brought forth from the dust, yet I gave you a heart of flesh. You were formed in my image. Your body was given life through the breath of the sun. Yet you, my children, have rebelled against me. You have turned from me and run. You run from your own father, desecrating and destroying all I have given you. Your hearts have grown hard. They are waxed very cold. A barren wasteland filled with evil and sin. Destroy your own houses and build them upon the sand as you will. Yet you dare not destroy the light I have given you. For it was sculpted delicately in fragile flesh and remains in the image of God, alive in the sun before its very conception. For it is the fool who says in her heart, There is no God, believing she answers only to herself. For she testifies aloud, saying, It is my body, my choice. You choose death, says the Lord. For the child within you is mine, even as you are mine also. Your body is not your own. All belongs to the Lord. Thus says the Lord. Murder of the innocent leads to the death of the guilty, who carry the innocent within them. Take no part in their suicide. For all who do wear equally the guilt of the mother, all seek the penalty of death. From the lawmakers to the voters, to the building owner, to the workers, to the suppliers, to the mother, and finally to the father, if he does not take a stand to protect the helpless and the innocent who are without blame. Behold, they have brought the wrath of God upon their nation, upon their state, and upon all their cities. Calamity upon calamity, until I have laid them waste. Thus says the Christ, even I who bought you. Whatsoever you have done to the least of these, my children, you have done unto me. Even so, call upon my name in all repentance and faith, and you shall surely live and not die. For I had first died for you, and was raised to life, so you may be with me where I am, and be as I am, restored in my image. Know you not that your body is a temple wherein God's Spirit may dwell, according to your faith and acceptance of the truth? Or him called Satan, according to your lack and rejection thereof? Fierce is my anger, hot is my countenance. My little ones perish in all the earth, whole generations slaughtered, multitudes of children murdered day and night without ceasing. Therefore have I brought forth and appointed many days of sorrows for this generation without respite. Behold, the day of the Lord! draws very near. For bitter anguish fills the heart of the Lord on account of the wicked, and he shall surely sweep them from the face of the whole earth. 
unless they repent and repay tenfold for their evil deeds.